If we go to a slightly more complicated element, cataract assessment, this is where you can imagine the patient is in front of you, you've examined them on the slip lamp, and you're putting in information about their cataract. So this is not only recording that information, but it's also giving some instant feedback, because we've managed to build in some risk factors from a large audit that was done on 55,000 cataracts, led by an ophthalmologist called John Sparrow. What he did was look at the risk of the major complication of cataract surgery, which is called posterior capsular rupture, or PCR. Mm -hmm. Normally that's about 2%. So a standard conversation with a cataract patient is your risk of a serious complication is 2%. But in fact, that's an average, and it can vary markedly according to the characteristics of the patient's cataract. And I'll show you what I mean. If we start off with a junior surgeon, and let's say the patient has a very simple cataract, and you'll recognize the drawing package here, and this is linked to the menu choices on the right-hand side. So by adding that cataract, the menu choice also became selected. Automatically okay. updated. Exactly, again, voiding duplication of effort. What we could do, though, is now calculate the risk of that complication. So if we click on the report button, and if you observe down here, it tells us that the risk is 2.69%. That's not too bad. I'll rather zero as a patient, but yes. I know that that's the reality. <laughs> so if I get this right, this is almost like personalized consent. It is indeed, because that's a fairly straightforward cataract, but let's make it a bit more complicated. So let's make it a bit denser. Let's uh, add some nuclear cataract as well, a very severe nuclear cataract, which is very hard and brown mm -hmm. and very difficult to do. Let's make it more difficult further by making the people very small. Mm. So it makes it difficult to see what you're doing. There are also a couple of conditions which can make the cataract a bit wobbly, including pseudoexfoliation and phacodinesis. So now that's pretty much as difficult as cataracts get. Now, if we click the report button there, you can see that the risk is now 44%. And that may well tip the patient against surgery, as opposed to telling them 2%, which, although is correct for an average, is not true for them. And if you were to alter the skill level of the surgeon, does that change? Well, let's see what happens. Because you're absolutely right. That is the, there's nothing you can do about the patient's cataract. It is as it is. But there's one risk factor you can modify, and that's the surgeon. So let's make this an experienced consultant, repeat it again. Still a high risk, but it's down to less than 20%. Using this tool, you can imagine that as well as being able to give the patient much better information to consent them, you can also put that particular patient on an appropriate operating list with a very experienced surgeon so that their individual risk is reduced. That's really nice to see, and actually this is the first time I've ever seen any electronic health record with this ability? Well, we're very keen on the possibilities of this sort of thing, but in order to do any sensible decision support within the process of healthcare, you need an electronic record which is collecting the data to begin with. Because all decision support is based on data that's elsewhere, and if you don't have it in electronic form, you can't even start. Um, so this is but a small example of what we want to do with all the information as we collected. And there are many other things that we can do. Because I guess one thing that you could see happen is that that risk might change as you gather experience about patient outcomes over the years. That, that's right, because this is based on data which is continually being added to. And uh, we can make it so that it reflects your personal risk based on the operations you've done in the past. And hopefully that, as you get more experience, that risk would go down.